What up, y'all? Chargers Truther coming to you January 31st, 2024. Going to be looking at the Chargers salary cap. We're in the hole $45.8 million. Big hole. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of moves that we're going to have to make to get out of this and to keep a competitive roster. Uh, yeah, we have Jim Harbaugh and we just got uh, Joe Horowitz from or Horitz from the Ravens. Seem like good moves. Um, but this roster is going to really need to be carved out and, and reshaped and reconstructed. Guys are going to have to leave. Guys are going to have to come in. Um, and certain guys are definitely going to gonna stay. This roster is not going to be totally revamped in one off season. But we're going to make a few moves, get us out of this hole, and see what we can do pretty much. Another thing is that these, you know, a lot of people are saying like, oh, we can't get this free agent. We can't get this guy because we're in cap hell right now. But moves can be made. You know, you can do things to free up money to make the moves that you believe in and that in the moves that you think are necessary for the team to make. If you want something bad enough, you can make it happen. Where there's a will, there is a way. So we're going to just be, be looking at this, uh, manipulate some money and see what we can do with this. Here I'm drinking a green tea, you know, because we're talking about money. We're talking about that green. Sorry, that's the best pun I could think of, drinking green tea. All right, straight up, looking right at the top, Khalil Mack, $38.5 million cap hit. We'd save $23.2 million if we cut him. Joey Bosa, $36.6 million. Just Godzilla cap hits, uh, $14 million we would save if we cut him. Keenan Allen, $34.7 million. We would save $23 million. But you know what? We're not cutting Keenan Allen. This dude's a lifetime charger. Been with us for like 10, 11 years, something like that. 11 years, yeah. Keenan Allen is a lifetime charger. This guy is not going anywhere. Um, so he gets a lifetime contract from me. Mike Williams, $32 million. We saved $20 million. Right off the bat, uh, unfortunately, I think we have to let go of Mike Williams. He's just a little bit too injury prone. Um, and and you know, I really like the guy. He's a really nice guy. He gets along really well in the locker room. He's a friend of Keenan Allen's. I would ask him if he would take a pay cut. Would you take a pay cut? Uh, and if so, then we proceed from there and we try and keep Mike Williams on the roster but I'm not just going to be able to assume that these guys would take pay cuts that's kind of cheating so gonna have to let go of Mike Williams instantly that frees us up 20 million dollars on that on the salary cap for 2024 going down Corey Lindsley uh retired that's going to save us um about another I don't know almost 10 Eric Kendrick's going to save us I believe 6.5 right 6.5 about 6.5, yep. So Eric Kendricks, I'm cutting just because it's a little too expensive. We're trying to maybe get a little younger. Um, he was good. He was actually our second leading tackler. Tough call here. I'm not saying that Eric Kendricks is just a downright cut. I'm saying, um, you know, we got to make some moves to, to make this stuff happen. Uh, then looking at Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa. I don't want to cut Khalil Mack. I know this is our top uh, cap hit, but... Khalil Mack has been a steady piece for us. So, you know, he, he was our pretty much our best defender last season, like tied the Chargers record in sacks. So don't want to cut him just yet. I, I want to make something work with, with Khalil Mack if possible. Joey Bosa has not been very present, but he's still younger. I still believe in Joey Bosa. So I don't really want to cut any of these guys, at least not just yet. Let's see how far Joey Bosa still got. One more year on his contract. So... Let me just try and restructure his contract. Let's see, renegotiate. Gonna take three off here, 12. This is gonna go to 20, which is pretty dang fat. Okay, saves us another three right there. Um, 7.4 million in the hole. Khalil Mack, I wonder if I can just, let's keep going. Let's keep going for a second. We got, um, JT Woods, I'm cutting JT Woods, Has he's had his chances, he has not performed, Chris Rumpf has been nothing but bad for us, Isaiah Spiller is questionable, I might leave him, but I don't really, I'm not a big Isaiah Spiller fan, I'm, I'm sure he's a good guy, he's young, I'll leave him on the roster for now though, um, so yeah, so, you know, we're still $5 million in this hole, something has got to be worked out, let's see how long we got Derwin James for, we got Derwin for another three years. So you know what? I'm going to restructure Derwin. We know that Derwin has been there for us. He's been good. He's been consistent. Uh, Derwin deserves um, some guaranteed 
money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take five off this. I'll take, I'll put, I'm taking five off hit, off this year's cap hit and I'm putting it, I'm putting, um, let's see, let's, uh, let's put five here and six here. Okay, so I'm throwing five million into the back of Derwin James' contract. Bring us pretty much even. Still got to do a little bit more. Um, Rashawn Slater might have to extend Rashawn Slater, actually. Give him, you know, I don't exactly know. Let's see, what is Pipkins making? Pipkins is making about uh, six million a year. Rashawn Slater is definitely worth more. So I'd be hard pressed to. Uh, guess what he would really want. Let's see, Keenan Allen. Keenan has got. What's Keenan got? Okay, Keenan Allen. I'm gonna uh, extend him, give him another year. 18 million. I think I can hopefully get Keenan by with 14. So that, but by way of that, I'm gonna take four and pay him 18 next year. So I'm I'm throwing I'm extending him next year. Uh, he'll be making 14 million. He's making 18 this year. Gonna take four off this year, throw it to next year. So, so that'll save us four million in cap space. Got about three and a half up now. Still leaving Khalil Mack up at the top. This guy may have to be cut. Something's gonna have to happen. But then I'm gonna go to start re-signing these free agents. First one I'm gonna look at Gerald Everett, just because we really got no tight ends. Gonna give him another. Um, I'll give him another. I hate to give him another one-year contract, but I'm going to give him two years at, I don't know, four million each. Four million, four million, but I'll do two million here, uh, two million here, <clears throat> and then this one will be six million. So throw that off. Bringing back Gerald Everett. Um, let's see who else on here is. We got to bring back Cameron Dicker for sure. Don't really know what kickers are making. Let's see what. Two million, maybe two point five million, two point five million. He's not a Justin Tucker, but let's see if he'd take it. Two point five million, but we're gonna take uh one point five million. Put it here, one million, point five million. Okay, so re-signing Eric uh Cameron Dicker, bringing us just about even still. Um, still gotta look at some of these guys. Kelly, I'm okay letting go. Will clap goodbye. Gilman, okay, let's see. What was Gilman making? Okay, so yeah, about four million I think is fair. Um again, trying to backload all this. So two here, two here. Okay, cool. Now we're back in the hole. Um, and I'm also going to re-sign Kenneth Murray. I know this is controversial. But, um, you know, he's still young. Again, he's been in the system. I think he's still growing. He's still hungry. And we have, like, no inside linebackers. Diane Henley did not do anything for us. I think I'm going to re-sign uh, Kenneth Murray to a two-year contract. Um, doesn't really deserve a massive um, reward. But, yeah, two-year contract, I think uh, he's worth about, uh, I don't know, maybe... Uh, 6.5 million, 6.7 million. Okay, whatever, 6.7 million. Uh, then I'm gonna take another three off this. 3.7 million. 3.7 million, put three in the back, like I keep on doing. Just keep throwing it in the back, you know, Tom Telesco style. Uh, just kidding, that's usually what everyone does. Then Austin Eckler, this is a tough call. I would try and bring him back on another two-year deal at about six million dollars each six million i know he's not going to be that's not what he's really looking for that's less than he's making now but i would tell him that he's gonna be have a smaller role i don't know if he would take it maybe seven million okay seven million seven seven uh then yeah take another take another four back here okay Resigning Austin Eckler just because as a backup, I still believe in Austin Eckler. I know he had a bad year, but he was not happy with our front office. He said he felt disrespected by them. Um, bring him back. I'm trying to draft a high round rookie running back, Trey Benson, maybe Brooks, 
Um, there's some other names, but we need to address this running back uh, group. Can't just let everyone go away and just have nobody running the ball because it was already bad as it was. We need to address this. So just for now, going to keep Austin Eckler, going to let Michael Davis walk, Nick Williams, um, Austin Johnson. I don't know who was better actually for us. They kind of have very generic names. Um, I'll sign Austin Johnson to a three-year deal. One more. Okay, so now we're back in the hole. Seven million dollars and shit is getting really difficult now. Stuff is getting really difficult. Um, let's see. Does any can anybody else be re-signed? I mean, I could re-sign Rashawn Slater. You know what? I'm gonna re-sign Slater to a four-year deal. Um, four year four year deal here here fifteen million fifteen fifteen and fifteen. Let's go. So what we're really gonna do is we are going to take off here. It's gonna be oh, the base salary. So we're gonna take off three million here. We'll put it um we'll put it uh here here. Take this off. So now this is this is zero. Okay. Now here, give them five. So now that's another five here, five here, and 10 here. So backloading it all. Um, okay. Okay, let's see what that does. Saves about $2 million. Resign Rashawn Slater. Um, yeah, didn't really do much there, but we got Rashawn Slater, saved him. And now finally, I think it's finally time to address Khalil Mack. Look, we can cut him and save a ton of money. $18 million up. Maybe that's what we want to do. Maybe that is what we want to do. We got to let go of Khalil Mack, save a ton of money. Joey Bosa, we're going to keep. Um, but let's see if we can keep him. If we restructure, if we uh, extend him. I don't know. You know, he is playing that... Oh, gosh, I think he's worth about maybe... $13 million each just because he's getting a little old. Um, trying to do this to the best of my ability. Seven. So let's see how much money we got. We're in the hole five. Oh my gosh, man. So so we just need to take seven off of this actually. So we'll take seven off. 7.5. 10 million here. Uh, this will be four million four million and this will be 3.5 million okay see what that'll do okay that brings us up so i renegotiated um khalil mack uh gave these guys some new contracts so you can see you know by cutting a few people i cut mike williams unfortunately Corey lindsley retired kendricks um jt woods and chris rumpf re-signed eckler murray Johnson, Gerald Everett, and Gilman, uh, and renegotiated, um, well, I extended, I renegotiated Derwin James, extended Keenan Allen for one more year, renegotiated Joey Bosa, and extended Rashawn Slater. There's still more moves that we can even make. We can, you know, the mo the money is very manipul manipulatable. It can be manipulated. Um, so we could keep on throwing money off into the future. You can do all these things. Let, you know, we like, again, if we cut Khalil Mack, that'd be a ton, a ton of money. And I'm not saying that, you know, that's right or that's wrong or what I did is right or wrong. These are just, you know, examples of what can happen. So again, we got 2.5 million in cap space opened up. Again, if you want to open up more, we can, Morgan Fox, um... Let's see how many more years does Morgan Fox have. Well, whatever. He's only got one more year. So if I sent, you know, give him another year, put in the back. Um, so 2.5. This would be also 2.5. And then take this off, make this a zero. And give him 2.5 here. So we could do that, free up a little bit more. We're up to 5 million up. Renego gave Morgan Fox one more year. Um, don't know if this is the smartest idea, but again, moves can be made. 
this can be worked out. Maybe I'll do this again in the future, but um, this is just, you know, an example of what we can do. Money can be moved. Things can happen. Um, yeah, it's not as black and white and firm or whatever as some people may think. So cheers. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I got to say, except one more thing is that we all know that this roster needs a lot of work. There's a lot of work we got to do with this roster. We got our running backs are leaving. We got our defensive tackles need help. Linebackers need help. Um, everything needs help. Our cornerbacks are freaking everything. We could use everything, tight ends. So it's going to be interesting what we do. A lot of moves to be made. We'll be keeping an eye on all this. Um, this is just for fun. We'll do this whenever, you know. Yeah. Hope you like this video. Charger Shooter, thank you.